Hey everybody, good Tuesday evening to you. It is weather for Weather Geeks. It's the most in-depth weather forecast video you're going to find for Northeast Ohio and Western Pennsylvania. We're gearing up for Thanksgiving and no shortage of things to talk about both before the holiday and after the holiday as well, including during the holiday on Thanksgiving, snow and gusty winds in our forecast. But since today is the 25th day of November, I wanted to take a look back real quickly. I posted about this last evening on social media, but it's just a reminder that uh, our biggest snowstorm in our area's history is not from the middle of winter. It was back at this time in 1950, from the 24th through the 25th, and even into parts of the 26th of November 1950, we had uh, the Great Appalachian Snowstorm and two foot plus amounts of snow common throughout the Youngstown area, right down through Wheeling, Steubenville, and into parts of West Virginia as well. This was uh, truly a once in a lifetime crippling event. And it's just, you know, it's one of my favorite weather oddities for our area that the biggest snowstorm on record for our region is not from January or February. It is from Thanksgiving time back in 1950. All right, well, uh, it was not snow, but it was rain today. It was a washout as expected. The official number as of the issuance of the da daily uh, climate report at the Youngstown Warren Airport, 0.46 inches worth of rain. And about a half an inch was pretty common at some unofficial rain gauges as well, about a half of an inch. Latonia, Youngstown, Boardman, down towards East Liverpool, and amounts pretty similar once you get off into the I-80 corridor and points north in Trumbull County. A little after 7 p.m., the uh, radar not as consistently green as it was earlier on today. The steadiest of the rain is now gone, but there'll be a scattering of showers and some patches of drizzle from time to time this evening into parts of the overnight as well. High resolution Futurecast has a pretty good handle on what the radar looks like now and what it probably will look like as we go through the night. There'll be plenty of dry pockets, but occasionally a shower will pass through. As you head out the door Wednesday morning, maybe it's your last day of work for the week before Thanksgiving. Yeah, there could be a shower around, but there's a better chance of rain, I think, as we head towards midday on our Wednesday. A lot of people hitting the roads and uh, going to the airports on Wednesday. I don't think uh, wintry weather will be much of a concern during Wednesday in most of the region, but there could be flight delays as a result of wind at a lot of our major regional hubs, Cleveland and Pittsburgh included, uh, Columbus, Toledo, Detroit. Wind delays, um, a distinct possibility through there. Nationwide, there's not a lot of big winter storms per se across the lower 48 states for that busy Wednesday. West Coast looking good. The southern tier of states not bad. It'll be wind, it'll be cold in parts of the Midwest and around the Great Lakes that, again, could cause some some weather delays as a result. Uh, you know, it's not the snow, but it's the wind. St. Louis, Minneapolis, Chicago, Detroit, and our local airports around Cleveland and Pittsburgh as well. So, yeah, the wind, you know, it's nothing crazy, but wind advisories have been issued for parts of northern Ohio by the Cleveland National uh, Weather Service office. And, yeah, occasionally a gust of 30, maybe even 40 will be possible, especially early in the afternoon. Here's one model depiction of the wind speeds, not the gusts, but the speeds, the sustained speeds. We're probably in the 20s for a handful of hours Wednesday afternoon. So that midday band of showers rolls on through probably about 10, 11 a.m., with a punch of wind with that. And actually, the sun's probably going to come out for a couple of hours late in the morning and early in the afternoon. But that'll be kind of a fleeting thing. That's also when our temperature drop is going to start. And so we'll start the day in the 50s. We'll end the day knocking on the door of the upper 30s by sunset Wednesday evening. And just after sunset, might it be cold enough for a snowflake or two? Yeah, that's going to be a possibility. I'm not expecting any problems on area roads late in the day Wednesday. Uh, might there be a couple of flurries around? Sure. But we're going to be largely still above freezing at that point. If we see problems on area roads in the lead up to Thanksgiving and during Thanksgiving morning, it's most likely going to be, of course, in our northern viewing area. Now, the lake effect's going to take some time to get organized. It's going to take until Thursday before the bands really start to uh, orient themselves. This will be kind of a westerly event at first, so a lot of these are going to be aimed at Ashtabula County, Erie County, PA, especially up into Chautauqua County in southwestern New York, that's south of Buffalo, uh, there could be some pretty ugly snowfall rates up in here. And, you know, this is the kind of thing that could shut down I-90 for a time um, during parts of late Wednesday night and on Thanksgiving Day on Thursday. Now, in our viewing area, again, a few sl slick spots might develop in our far northern areas for Thursday morning. It's later Thursday, towards the evening and into the overnight, that I think there will be a enough of a subtle change in the, in the fetch in the wind direction that some of these bands will penetrate a little bit farther to the south. So as we head towards dinner time Thursday evening, into the overnight, into Friday morning, more real estate could be impacted by some lake effect snow showers. So while you might miss out on a lot of this action during the first half of the day at a place like Warren and Newton Falls, over towards Sharon, 
you might get in on some beefier snow showers towards the end of the day Thursday into Thursday night and into Friday morning as well. I think as Black Friday progresses, the number of snowflakes will, will start easing back. Uh, the most numerous snow showers will probably be in the morning on Friday, but this will certainly be enough to shovel and plow once you're up into the primary snow belts from northern Geauga County through a good chunk of Ashtabula County. Six plus inches will be quite common. You might even push upwards of, you know, double digits in parts of Ashtabula County up towards Route 6 and especially north of there. Once you're over towards Meadville and Crawford County and especially between Meadville and Erie along I-79 up towards I-90, there could not only be some double digit amounts, there could be over a foot worth of snow in many communities up there. In our TV viewing area, if you are in our true television market in, in your south of Interstate 80, we're not looking for many impacts from the snow. Now, could some surfaces get a little bit slick if you get a renegade snow shower that passes through? Sure, but the actual accumulations are probably an inch or less along the 224 corridor. Canfield, Boardman, up towards Youngstown and certainly off to the south once you get down into Columbiana County and a good chunk of Lawrence County, maybe with the exception of areas closer to the Mercer County line, your amounts should generally be under an inch. But if you go far enough to the north, you know, I'm not going to be surprised if we see up to a half a foot closer to Kinsman, over towards Mesopotamia, Route 87 and 88, especially up into northern Trumbull County, up towards uh, Route 322 coming out of uh, Ashtabula County and out into northeastern Trumbull and into northwestern Mercer, think Greenville area, Sandy Creek, and again, as you go up into Crawford, you know, six inch, inch plus amounts will be pretty common. And a lot of this, I, I think, will come during Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, into Friday morning as well. Tell you, the modeling has been kind of all over the place with the pattern as we go into next week. I just talked last evening, I think, about uh, how the models were you know, kind of focusing on a little bit of a back and forth pattern for early December, um, where the southeastern ridge shows some resistance a little bit to the incoming cold. Boy, the models have really changed their tune again over the last 24 hours, and now it looks more and more like the cold is, is going to win the battle, and there won't be much resistance from any southeastern ridging. So what that means is our forecast has trended quite a bit colder as we go into early December. You know, I, I thought we could see 50 or better for a couple of days early next week, but now it looks like we're going to be hard-pressed to see 40. We're going to be mostly in the 30s for daytime highs, it looks like, in early December. And so, you know, I, I think there can be some periods in December where that southeast ridge pops and makes an appearance and, and shows some resistance to the cold, but that may be the exception. I, I still think that December as a whole is likely to be a colder than average month, and maybe by some magnitude. This could end up being our coldest December in at least eight years. So we're going to update you on the uh, Lake effect snow, the wind, the cold, and everything else you need to know coming up Wednesday evening on Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks for watching this evening, and have a great rest of your Tuesday night.